Well, let, let's talk about tokens a bit then, because what tokens are is a representation of something. In cryptocurrency, it, a token, a Bitcoin token is a representation of value. And we talked about, you know, value and what value means before. But what a token represents then is value in anything else. A token represents ownership in a non-fungible token, for example. So you've got a lot of artists now that are putting out art and, and being able to express themselves and people buy these unique pieces of art on a blockchain and have immutable records of their ownership in that particular item. So when it comes to putting together a blockchain for a business, those tokens represent value such as hours put in to develop the blockchain. If you're in the development phase of deploying a blockchain in, in the particular uh, group of businesses, or they can represent uh, maintenance time. And the, the blockchain, if it's set up properly at the beginning, will actually award tokens to the people in the consortium that will actually put work into the blockchain to keep it maintained and or to upgrade its features. So literally the tokens represent um, the payment to each business for the work that's being done. And each business of course is probably going to be paying money to uh, be part of it uh, if they're a consortium of, let's say, you know, jewelry vendors or something like that, that get together and they're working a blockchain to manage their supply chain and all of them are participating and each one takes their piece of the work. The tokens then re can re actually represent value for goods or, or services rendered uh, to the blockchain as well as ownership and information passing for the individual items that are being ordered and you see through the supply chain. So tokens are can be a reward system within a business blockchain and it can also carry the information in a smart contract type of uh, layout in order to keep that information flowing through the system. Now, when you talk about coins versus tokens, we're finally I mean, at the very beginning, there wasn't much difference between a coin or a token. Uh, and later on, it began to start separating that coins are reserved for Bitcoin and Ethereum and, you know, exchanges of value on a currency level versus tokens being uh, exchanges of value for things and information attached about things. So. It, it's it's kind of nice to see that separation starting to happen. A token representing value in something versus a co versus the coins, the tokens that represent currency um, having value in themselves. Okay, so a token could be just information. It could be a security token where you log into a system and it has your login information. It could be literally um, the value that's shared between companies that represent the hours worked so that they can get reimbursed for the hours worked um, on the blockchain to maintain it or whatever that I talked about just a little earlier. Um, so the differentiation to the code inside the blockchain really isn't anything different. I, I think we as humans really need to have that differentiation in our mind so that we can understand that a token represents a thing of value and a coin represents a currency that, that we can trade or um, usually it's public rather than a private type of thing. Yeah, we have a, a thing at Boeing that's, you know, Boeing bucks. You can, you can reward somebody and, and they actually peg them to dollars. If you want to take them to the Boeing store, they, they allow you to buy dollar for dollar for any of those Boeing dollars. Um, but yeah, they don't actually give you the money in your pocket, but they, um, but they give you the, the points, you know, what they call pride points, um, and you exchange them for items of value. So yeah, there, there's tokenization all over the place. Uh, I think in one of the lectures I used the example that, you know, tokens have existed for a long time, you know, the airline miles, I mean, all they are is tokens. 
Um, they give you credit for the number of miles you did and you can exchange those for items of value eventually if you collect enough of them. It would be nice if they were all on one blockchain and you just got miles and you could use them interchangeably between everybody. Uh, don't think that's going to happen. You know, United wants to keep their customers coming back to United, so don't want them to go to a competitor like Delta or American or Southwest, forgive, you know, forbidden, forbid that they should go to Southwest. <laughs> if you enjoyed the content that you saw today and would like to help me grow the channel, hover your mouse over my picture to the left and click on subscribe. There are also other videos showing on the screen that you might enjoy.